Wildcats and local high school sports. Good morning to you. A record crowd at Churchill Downs yesterday for Kentucky Derby 141. 170,513 in attendance. The favorite going into the Derby was American Pharaoh, a horse trained by Bob Baffert, who was trying to notch his fourth career Kentucky Derby. There's Baffert. He's ready to go. Larry Comas for your call yesterday at Churchill Downs. It's American Pharaoh in front. Firing line. Dortmund is third. Frost in his fourth. Coming to the finish. American Pharaoh and Victor Espinosa have won the Kentucky Derby. Firing line was second. Dortmund was third. Frost in finished fourth in a final time of two minutes three. American Pharaoh Victor wins the 141st Kentucky Derby. Kentucky first horse Derby ever to win from post position 17. So Kentucky Derby 141 over. Now to pick 122 into this guy. And day three of the NFL draft yesterday, the second and final Wildcat to come off the board is Zadarius Smith. The Kentucky outside linebacker is headed to Baltimore. The Ravens select him in the fourth round, 122nd overall, the second pass rusher picked from Kentucky. Of course, joining Bud Dupree. Smith played two seasons in Lexington after transferring in from junior college. He finished with 119 tackles and 10 and a half sacks. Uh, just coming out of junior college, man, you know, we uh, ran a lot of 3-4, but uh, getting into Kentucky, man, we ran a lot of 4-3. And uh, just being in both defenses, man, I felt comfortable. And felt comfortable with this team drafting me because, you know, I could play most of the distance. And uh, I feel comfortable at playing the outside linebacker, standing up some, and I also feel comfortable getting down there in that three technique on the pass for some third down. Now, between Kentucky and Louisville, 12 guys selected in this year's NFL draft. Bud Dupree and Zadarius Smith, the only ones from Kentucky. Meanwhile, Cardinals wide out. Devontae Parker was a first rounder for Louisville. He goes to the Dolphins at pick number 14. Jamin Brown, John Miller, and Lorenzo Malden. All third round selections from Louisville. Uh, meanwhile, strong safety James Sample went in the fourth round. And then Deontrez Mount, Charles Gaines, and B.J. DeBose went in the sixth round yesterday, along with these two seventh round picks. Jared Holloman is picked up by the Pittsburgh Steelers and Louisville tight end Gerald Christian is drafted by the Arizona Cardinals. Now to baseball, the All-A State Baseball Tournament going on in Lexington this weekend. Hazard is the only team out of the eight that are there from the coverage area. Griffin Wells on the mound for the Bulldogs taking on Ben Jordan and the West Carter Comets in the first round of the All-A State Tournament. Here we go, Bulldogs find themselves in a jam in the top of the first. 2-1 for the Comets and Jordan. Bounces one to the shortstop. He's going to be safe at first. Peyton Brown scores. West Carter with the early 2-0 lead. Let's go bottom of the fifth now. Bulldogs trailing 3-0. Base is loaded for Cole Ratliff. Okay, he pops out. But Blake Lockhart tags from third and scores. Now the Bulldogs are on the board down just 3-1. To, to the seventh inning we go. Same score, last chance for Hazard. Wells gets one by the short. Everyone is safe. Uh-oh. They walk Ratliff, so now it's bases loaded, bottom seventh, one out, Rudy Aikman. Dances one down the third baseline, one run scores. We're all tied up at three in Lexington. The Comets intentionally walk Ryan Smith. That means the bases are loaded again for Andy Baker. High and inside, take your base, and come on down, Blake Nidefer. The winning run taps the plate, and Hazard wins in comeback fashion, four to three. They are about to play Ballard Memorial in the semifinals out there. Of course, we'll have highlights later on this evening at 6. Now to the pros. The Cincinnati Reds are in Atlanta for a four-game set this weekend with the Braves. The two have split this series 1-1 so far coming into last night's game. Game three in the ATL. We pick it up top fourth. No score. Brandon Phillips grounds to short. And Drelton Simmons. Bleh, bleh. Slips, falls, 1-0 Reds. Jay Bruce scores. Same inning, same score. Brian Pena blurs it out to center. That ball drops. Phillips in the score. Now 2-0 Reds. All right, let's go top five. Jay Bruce hits it to right. Reds lead 4-0 because that scores two more. Bruce with the triple. Bottom of the inning, Cameron Maben. Good night. That cuts the lead in half. A two-run jack from Maven. Next inning, Marlon Bird. Anything you can do, I can do better. Whee! He hits one out of the park as well. A solo shot. Reds win 5-2. to two. That's first look at sports this morning. Enjoy your morning. 
Good morning to you. A record crowd yesterday at Churchill Downs for Kentucky Derby 141. Get this, 170,513 people in attendance. Wow, the favorite, of course, going into the Derby was American Pharoah, a horse trained by Bob Baffert, who was trying to notch his fourth career Kentucky Derby. And there's Baffert. He's ready to go. Larry Thomas yesterday with the call. Final 16th. It's American Pharoah in front. Firing line. Dorkman is third. Frost in his fourth. Coming to the finish. American Pharoah and Victor Espinosa have won the Kentucky Derby. Firing line was second. Dorkman was third. Frost in finished fourth in a final time of two minutes three. American Pharoah wins the 141st Kentucky Derby. First horse ever to win from post position. 17. Well, we only have one coverage area team in the All-A State Baseball Tournament this year, Hazard, representing the Mountains in Lexington. Here we go. Griffin Wells on the mound for the Bulldogs yesterday, taking on Ben Jordan and the West Carter Comets in the first round out at the All-A State Tournament. Bulldogs find themselves in a jam in the top of the first. Two on for the Comets. Jordan at the dish. Bounces one really high to the shortstop. He's safe at first. Peyton Brown scores. West Carter with the early 2-0 lead. Let's go bottom of the fifth now. Bulldogs trailing 3-0. Bases loaded for Cole Ratliff. That's a pop-up. He's out. Blake Lockhart not out. He taps home plate and Hazard's on the board, but down 3-1. To, to the seventh inning we go. Same score. Wells gets one past the shortstop, and everybody is safe. They walk Ratliff, so now it's bases loaded. Bottom seven with one out. Rudy Aikman. He gets it through the infield. We are tied in Lexington. 3-3. The Comets intentionally walk Ryan Smith. Bases loaded again. Andy Baker. That's high and inside. They walk him. Blake Knight for the winning run taps the plate and Hazard wins in comeback fashion. 4-3. to three. The Allen Central Rebels and North World Jaguars getting together in Scott County yesterday afternoon. Uh, Rebels adding to a 1-0 lead in the second. Brett Sammons. Base hit up the middle. AC now leading 3-0 as Colton Parsons and Dylan Lawson score. Bottom of the inning. Jags with the bases all juiced up. Look at the play by Cameron Blevins. A face full of dirt. He also had a solo home run. He gets out of the inning with that out for AC. Bottom third. Runner on at second for North. He takes off in the wild pitch. And then it goes wild again. Jack Capo Bianco scores for the Jags. To the bottom of the fourth, Ethan Maxey now. Bye. Jumps all over the pitch. A two-run blast to left field. North World comes back to beat Allen Central 9-4. to four. Let's go to game two now for Allen Central. Second game of the day for the Rebels. They were taking on the Ryle Raiders this time. Rebels down 4-2 in the second, but no more. Dustin Johnson. Bye for a second time. Plays a little long ball. Allen Central up one nothing, and the jump stop there on home plate. Go to the fifth bases full of Raiders, but Johnson induces the ground ball for the six three inning ending double play. Nice play there. Rebels still leading five four. Bottom of the fifth. Johnson at it again. Rope swan. That'll be a double in right center to score Tanner Hamilton from first, but Allen Central falls late, losing to Ryle 7 to 6. And I mentioned Hazard. They're actually playing Ballard Memorial right now in those all A state semifinals out at Lexington. Of course, we'll have highlights tonight at 6 and 11. That's a final look at sports this morning. Enjoy your morning.